took an 1100 mile road trip with my bike suction cup to the roof. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. Stay tuned. What's up, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, out in Texas, not in Korea anymore. And so far it's been great. Um, this video is about, I gotta do a road trip. I have to travel from, I'm driving from Texas to Georgia and I have my bike with me and I got my Honda Civic. I wanted a bike rack, I just didn't know which one to get. I was thinking about doing like a trailer hitch one or the roof type joint, but there's another one that I've been looking at and it's called the Sea Sucker. I know you probably heard of it before, you probably seen it before, so I'm going to buy it. We're going to set it up and we're going to take a road trip. Um, I'm kind of skeptical about it. The suction cup mechanism, how it connects to the car, from all the reviews and everything, it says it's legit. And I think from going on a little short point A to point B, it wouldn't be bad. But I need to go 1,100 miles, uh, probably like a 16-hour road trip. So... This would be a true test if the sea sucker uh, lives up to his name. So I ordered it the other day. It's supposed to be here like today or tomorrow. And um, we're going to get it on the car. We're going to see what it look like. So stay tuned. All right, folks, it has finally come in. This is the sea sucker mount or bike rack. So y'all know I'll be doing them unboxings and all that other stuff. I'm just going to show you what this thing consists of. So initially when I seen it on other videos and pictures of it, I thought this was going to be a heavy piece of equipment. And it is surprisingly very, very light, but it's constructed extremely well. One of the things I do like about it, it's made in America. We got to support our America companies, man. Can't tell you that enough. It's pretty straightforward. It has these three suction cups that go onto um, whatever part of the car you choose to place it on. And then it has a single cup for the wheel. Things I do like about it, when it is not in use, these little white covers, they cover the actual suction part of the bike mount uh, to kind of help you protect those cups. It's already assembled. The only thing that was not assembled is this part right here where you connect your front fork to and it was just these two screws uh, on one side it's the nut and then on the top part it is a allen style wrench it comes with the nuts it comes with the wrench and it comes with the allen head so it comes with everything you need the only thing that i swapped out is this part right here um, this one is one that when you lock when you connect it together you can actually run a lock through it is it really going to make a difference probably not because somebody can really just undo the suction cup and take the whole thing but i don't know it's peace of mind so we're gonna roll with it um also when putting it on the car you put the cup down and you pump these up once the orange disappears it is fully connected and if you're just taking a quick glance at it if you see the orange then you know it's not secured as properly as it's supposed to so the more you pump the orange will go away and then you know it's good it's like a little bag that it comes with and an extra pump for the suction cup. So that's it, man. I'm going to put it on the car real quick so you can see what it looks like. And tomorrow or tonight, I will start my journey from Texas to Georgia. And we're going to knock out this 1,100 miles. And we're going to see if this mountain lives up to what it says it can do. Stay tuned. All right. I got it on the car. Like I said, pretty straightforward process. You basically wipe down the surface, put the suction cup on, do a couple pumps until the orange disappears, and then it's on there. And I mean, the bike is, it's on there. The whole car is shaking when it's on there. Well, like I said, I got 16 hours, 1100 miles to figure it out. Um, my plan is to stop every like 300, 330 miles, get some gas, and then I'll check it and see how it does. But we in there, we out, roll out in a couple hours.
right, y'all, we about, about 400 miles into the trip, and I'm looking at these mounts, and I don't see any orange, so, I mean, it's still secure. I haven't had any problems at all. I think I've been going about, probably about 75 to 80 miles an hour, and it's solid. So far, so good, no complaints. I'll check back in with y'all at the next stop. All right, so it's been about 11 hours, 800 miles, and it's still solid. No issues, no orange showing. I got about 350 miles left to go, and the next update will be at the final destination. Stay tuned. A few moments later. Road trip complete. I'm at my Georgia home. As you can see, the bike is intact. I had absolutely no issues, but I've been on the road for like 12 hours, 1100 miles. I am about to eat, shower, and sleep. I'll do another video in the morning to give a thorough update on all my feedback about the Sea Sucker Mount. But in short, successful trip, no complaints. All right, what's up, what's going on? Mission complete, man. This is the conclusion of the road trip. Uh, finally back in Georgia, mission complete. I'm telling you, man, it feels good to be home. No more South Korea. I miss my little house, my little piece of the earth. But going back to the sea sucker, man, money well spent, man. It was 300 bucks. It was kind of pricey. I was kind of worried about it. They had another type of suction uh, mount bike rack that was a little bit cheaper. I want to say it was like $200 instead of the three. It had good reviews as well, but not just from the Amazon reviews, but also forums, Reddit, everything that I read, seen about the Sea Sucker Mount, they just said it was the truth. And I'm telling you, man, it was. The total trip was 1113 miles. And I think I did it in like 17 hours. Um, the thing that's even crazy is I packed everything up the night before and mounted the bike. So I had put the stuff on the car I'd say maybe like 2100 or 9 p.m. the night before because I rolled out around like 3.30 in the morning to get started. That way I'd be in Georgia by the evening. So total time, man, the, the bike was on the car for more than 24 hours. As you can see from the videos, every time I stopped, I checked the mount and I was looking for the orange color um, to let you know how much pressure had released. No orange showing at all. And just for good measure, I was trying to pump it up some more. And it didn't even take any pumps, man. It didn't even move. For the first portion of the trip, I said like the first 300 miles, man, I was really scared. I thought it was kind of sketchy. I was probably doing maybe like 70 miles an hour, maybe 75. Still kind of worried about it. I said like the next 300 miles, mm, I was kind of worried about it too. I was still doing like maybe 70, 80 or so. The rest of the trip, like the last four, 500 miles, man, I didn't even think about it. I was flying. I was probably doing uh, maybe at one point, maybe about 90 miles an hour. <laughs> and But I was floating between, I'd say a good, like maybe 82 miles an hour to 90 miles an hour. And man, the bike was fine. I have no complaints, no issues, nothing bad to say about the Sea Sucker. Um, the only things that I did differently was once the bike is strapped to the car, the crank can spin. So what I did was I got like a bungee cord and I put the bungee cord between the pedal and the, um, the rear, the back portion of the bike, uh, I guess like the wheel stay. And I just strapped it on that, that way the crank can't turn. And that was it. Um, came home, took the bike off the car. And besides like the little bug graveyard that was on the front of it, everything was fine, man. Nothing broke, everything was fully functional. Um, just like I said, just had to clean the bike and that was it, man. So. If you're looking to get a mount and you're undecided what to go or which route to take or what to buy, spend that 300 bucks, man, get the Sea Sucker, man. Um, and another thing I thought about too was that 
for me, it was like future proof. And what I mean by that is I can put the C-Sucker mount on my Civic. I could put it on my other car. If I get a new car or let's say I'm going to go ride with somebody and I could just like slap it on anything, man. So I really like the versatility of it. So C-Sucker, job well done, man. I'm going to send y'all a good comment and reach out to y'all. Appreciate y'all. Uh, stay tuned for the next one, man. We out. Is it started? Because I could just, what's filming right now is just the B-roll. I just can edit that out. Rob Armstrong.